Hey guys, I am Foxtrot Delta, and welcome back to some more Star Trek Legacy. And today I'm going to take this uh, fleet that I have of a D7 class, D3 class, Burl class, and uh, Death Rite class cruiser. And I'm going to use these ships against the Federation at Glintara. Now we're going to have no respawns. So I need to be pretty careful about what it is that, that I do. I have the Federation on, on AI Easy because I know that their ships are almost definitely going to be more powerful than, than mine. I'm not sure though. But, um, I also have another Klingon uh, fleet that's going to assist me. Hopefully uh, they won't abandon me like some fleets have in the past when I've been playing. But I'm not going to talk about that. So, um, yeah, hopefully I win, or if I don't win, hopefully it's a nice battle, and if it's not a nice battle, I apologize, but that's why I always ask you guys to tell me what I can do to make these uh, videos better, so that I have the most epic battles ever. Or at least hopefully I will after you guys tell me what to improve, but anyway, let's get right into this. We're in the original series era. We're going to see who's going to win this. Enough talking. Ah, I love the look of the D7. It just looks so uh, like everything a military ship should be, except for maybe the uh, long neck here. That looks like a vulnerable spot that can just break in half from just like the G forces. But I mean, look at that. That looks menacing. You would not want to be up close face to face with one of those in a region of space, that's for sure. So, it's funny. I said enough talking, and then yet that's all that I'm doing. I'm just talking. So. So I'm gonna come in here on impulse. Prepare for battle. Enemy vessel detected. Now I don't know how awesome this battle is gonna be with no response, but I'm gonna try my hardest. Now it looks like a shipyard, but I don't know if I can use that as a repair facility. I will check though. Oh, actually no, maybe I won't check. It's not gonna matter. Uh, where? Art thou? We go to battle. Ooh. New enemy vessels detected. Actually, you know what? We go to battle. Let's do that. I'm just gonna take just this. Actually, ready. everyone attack whatever you want. I'm gonna take just this guy and attack the Miranda. He's a little fast though. I never mentioned before how cool these engines look. Uh, look at the back of those, that green glow. New enemy vessels detected. Uh, ooh. Okay, I'm going to attack the Proxima class, I guess. No one else seems to be actively attacking it, so there we go. I love the explosions in this game. Yeah, the whole thing seems to be like almost melting the saucer, and then boom, it's ripped apart. Okay. Ooh. Constitution class, eh? You think you can be sneaky? Up behind me like that? Well, guess what? You can't. Ow. I'll stop. There we go. Fired everything. Ooh, the Ticonderoga. We're going to destroy it. Maybe. Actually, we probably will. Yeah, things are pretty easy when the AI is on easy. The ships are not that powerful. And, uh... I'm just destroying these guys. And there. Come on. Come on. One more. One more good uh, hit. There we go. This is the last one. That is the last one. I am victorious. Okay, so I won in just over three minutes. I got four kills, lost nothing. And our enemy only got one kill. Now, but wait, if you call now, we'll send you another skirmish for free. Not really, don't call. But I'm going to do another skirmish, so hold tight, and I will be back here with another skirmish set up, probably the same uh, specifications, going to have the same amount of respawns maybe, maybe even the same enemies, I don't know, we will see. 
So, without further ado, I'm gonna do that, and I'll see you guys in a few seconds. Don't go away. And I, indeed, was not lying, so we are back here with another skirmish uh, battle. I still have a Brel D3, Deathrite, and uh, D7. Not necessarily in that order, it actually goes D3, Brel, Deathrite, D7, whatever. Anyway, so... Uh, we are going to be battling the Federation once again, this time at Akamar. As you guys know, that's one of my favorite maps, and if you don't know that, well, it's one of my favorite maps. And so we're going to be battling the Federation, as I just said. We are, are on AI Easy once again, but there are going to be five respawns instead of none. And none versus five. Five is a lot more than none. So I think this will be a little more long drawn out battle. As usual, there are two teams. I tended to do two versus two battles more than anything, because they just seem to have a lot more action than, like, either one fleet versus another fleet, because no, that's only eight ships. But here we have a full 16 ships, usually, unless they only buy, like, two. But anyway, so we're in the original series. Uh, I think I've already said everything that needs to be said, so we are going to get right into this. And we're going to see if I win, as we usually do. And the Federation is already making their move into the open battlefield, so I'm going to jump right in on top of them, surprise them, destroy them. Maybe. Aha! If I can go up, that would help. There we go. They just cannot compete against my disruptors. Come on, Republic, you running? Don't run. There's nothing to run from, except for, like, eight Klingon warships, but other than that, there's nothing to run from. Ooh, that Proxima class is in trouble. The Bismarck. Do you guys know that, uh, Bismarck was, uh, a German leader at, like, uh, just before World War One? He helped to reunify Germany? A little piece of history there. Actually, you guys probably already knew that. Never cared for the name Farragut. I mean, look at that. That sounds like some just Farragut. You're using the word gut. I mean, just no. Anyway, I'm going to stop commenting on the ship's names because that's not important to what I'm doing. They destroyed another ship. The Alamo. Huh. That's just bad luck. <laughs> I'm doing it again. I'm talking about their names when I don't need to. <laughs> but it's just so funny because they called it the Alamo. And, of course, we know how that went. So, I just think that's slightly funny. I wonder if one of these is named uh, Titanic. No? There's no Titanics here? Although maybe they named that ship Alamo because the people at the Alamo did a heck of a good job fighting. So, I mean, maybe that's what's supposed to symbolize. Although they did lose in the end, and that's why I just it was funny to me because, I mean, you're, you're in a ship going into battle and you've named it after something that was already lost. Let's see if we can destroy this Proxima class. Yep, definitely can. That torpedo's gonna do it. There's the Farragut again. It just it does not sound good rolling off the tongue like that. Farragut. It sounds like a place you punch someone. In the Farragut. Anyway. Moving on to the next targets. Now my Brel, I haven't used it, but it's ooh, it's it's taking a little bit of damage right there. Georgia. Yeah, man. Now if I could actually turn, that would help. Maybe. Come on. 
Our shields are low, Captain. I do not think I've ever taken out a uh, ship in a sword brawl before. This would be interesting if I managed to do that. Yes, I did. Now, he might have been damaged before I even started attacking him. I don't know. But we did win, and that is the important thing here. Okay, so 10 kills for myself. Lost nothing, because I'm just that good. Also, I had the enemy AI on easy, so that probably had a lot to do with it. But, yeah, so that was a clear win. That was four minutes versus, what was the other one? Three minutes, so not that much longer, actually, even though we had way more respawns. But, yeah, so if you guys enjoyed that battle, those two battles, and if you guys enjoyed this video, please be sure to leave a like. And uh, if you aren't subscribed, please subscribe. If you did not like this video, I apologize for that. Um, please leave a comment in the comment section and tell me what it is I can do to improve the next videos that I make so that they are better than this one and that you guys enjoy them. And as always, if you want to see any specific type of ship or battle scenario, also leave a comment about that in the comment section. I will read those and I will do my best. I will do my best to use those ideas in my future videos. So, as always, I am Fox Rod Delta, and I'll see you next time.